Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and today I've come to Canet on Roussillon, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. With Jeremy, my husband, for a couple of days. Now, if you saw my last video that I posted on Wednesday, I've just chopped myself a fringe and as you can see, it's not down because I really don't think I suit a fringe and I didn't realize this until it was too late. Like this is it. So, you're gonna see me the whole time, I think, with my fringe pinned back for the next couple of months until it grows out. Anyway, so we left this morning before lunchtime and went to spend lunch with Jeremy's family because it was his cousin's child's fifth birthday. Now, obviously, I don't have any footage from that because it was kind of a family thing, um, but it was lovely. We spent like six hours there. It was a long thing, which I always forget about the French parties. It's always like a six hour lunch. It's never like a one or two hour thing. Anyway, I had a great time, but we are now staying at a friend's place in Cannes. Um, they have an apartment here, like a holiday apartment, so we've come to stay here for two nights. And I thought I would vlog it for you. I don't know how much I'm going to film because it's kind of the first time I'm seeing Jeremy one-on-one -on -one since May, since the beginning of May, so since the end of April. So I'm going to want some quality time, but I kind of thought I'd show you around a little bit so you can see what Cannes is all about, you can see where we are and kind of what we get up to while we're here, which hopefully will be a lot of relaxing and kind of couple time as well. Anyway, so we've had a big lunch at this birthday party, so I don't know how much we're going to eat tonight, but I think we're just going to go to the beach now and have a little swim in the water and cool down because it's currently about 35 degrees, it's boiling, so we're going to go to the beach and have a walk around, I guess. So I'll kind of show you around the area and show you when we get there, things like that. So we're on the beach and we've just been for a quick swim which was lovely. It was quite cold getting in but then actually in it was lovely. The sun's behind us, we're just relaxing aren't we? Thinking about what we're going to do for dinner because I ate a lot for lunch so I don't know if we're going to get a little kebab or a little sandwich or something tonight but then just relaxing on the beach. Good morning, so it's the next day, it's actually the afternoon. <laughs> but I thought I would kind of update you on what we did last night and also this morning. So last night I was not feeling very well. I think it's something I ate, I think the day before probably. So I had a sore tummy, so I didn't vlog anything. I just kind of wasn't in the mood, but we went kind of out to the beach and walked down the prom and it's actually so, so busy, way busier than I thought it would be. There was like thousands of people. I'm pretty sure thousands of people. It was so busy, um, but there was somebody, there was like a huge stage and they were playing music. I'll pop the little clip here that I got. Um, so that was really nice. There was, we kind of sat there for probably half an hour listening to the music. There was also kind of a Ferris wheel and lots of restaurants and cafes and everywhere was buzzing. There was just so many people walking around. There was night markets selling absolute tat, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, it was lovely. It was nice just to kind of have a walk around and it was so, so much busier than I thought it would be, honestly. Like I thought it would be nice and quiet, a small little beach town, but actually it gets so, so busy in summer. So that was last night. Um, we came home, went to bed because I, again, I was feeling ill and Jeremy was tired from playing with the kids all day. So then this morning we woke up about 10, I think, got up and went and got some pan of chocolates at the boulangerie down the road. Um, beautiful boulangerie with like painted on the seat on the kind of wall outside and got some pan of, got four pan of chocolates, so two each. Jeremy paid for those um, and then walked to the beach and sat and had them whilst we were on the beach. Um, at the beach, Jeremy went in and had a bit of a swim, but I didn't because I like to warm up first and then go in the ocean to cool down. We didn't really have enough time to warm up because it was so windy and the, the um, sand is so fine that we were just getting absolutely battered with the wind, with the um, sand, sorry. Like I can feel it all in my hair and all over my body just because it was just, obviously I was laying on the sand and the wind was just pushing all the sand on us. So like every couple of seconds you get beaten with sand. So it lasted maybe half an hour, 45 minutes and then decided to go for a walk. So we walked along the front walked then down to the harbour which was beautiful there's a new um aquarium that i think they've only just opened during we said i don't know how recently but it's pretty new so there's a new aquarium and lots of lovely boats and then obviously the seaside next to it the beach next to it so that was really lovely to go and sit there for a little while 
um, carried on walking around, saw some more boats. And then we decided to walk back to the apartment and kind of chill out here for a bit because it's kind of too hot during the day to sunbathe anyway. And also with it being windy, we're just getting battered by the sand. So I walked home and on the way home, we stopped at Carrefour and got some things for sandwiches. So we got some ham, some cheese, some crisps, some sausage on, some iced tea, just some little bits like that to eat at home. Stopped off at the boulangerie again and got a baguette and then stopped off across the road at the fruit store and I got some raspberries. So I think the plan now is just to relax at the apartment for a couple of hours while it's kind of the midday heat and while it's hot. Probably play some games, maybe have a nap, have some lunch. Jeremy's just poured us each a glass of wine, so that's going to be lovely to have some wine. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. I'm sorry I didn't really vlog much because obviously yesterday I felt ill and then this morning it was honestly too windy to vlog. I think if I'd have vlogged you wouldn't hear anything I was saying because it's just so, so windy because I'm filming on my iPhone. There's obviously not like a wind muff thing for when it's super windy. Um, so yeah, I'll try and vlog a little bit more this evening if we go out again and walk around along the front and if there's everything going on like there was last night. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. We're just going to relax in the apartment, have some food, maybe sleep, maybe play some car games and just enjoy each other's company. So it's now about 5 p.m. We had lunch together and had some wine, some kind of ham sandwiches, and then I napped for about an hour and a half. Just got ourselves dressed and we're off for a walk. I've got my camera with me because I think we're going to try and get some nice photos of some of the buildings here. It should be good. So just a quick update, we had, well I had an ice cream and Jeremy had a crepe Nutella, which was thumbs up, which was good. Um, we've then just gone for a walk round. I'm being crap at vlogging today and yesterday, so I apologise. And taking pictures. I got my camera and I'm not taking any pictures. Why do I look so brown in this video? I'm not that brown, I promise. Anyway, so we've been walking around and it's been lovely, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we're now walking to the port, so I'll try and show you that if I remember. I've just been so crap today. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. It's very touristy here. Lots of kind of crap shops and ice cream shops and bikinis and clothes and lots of fun stuff. But it's good. It's nice to walk around and see somewhere a bit different. So, I'm being the world's worst vlogger today. I apologise, but we've just been to the port and I've just been taking some photographs of the wheel that they've got, of the boats, um, a couple of the buildings and palm trees, things like that, so it was lovely. And we're now walking to Jeremy's godmother's house to see his godmother, his uncle, because it's also his auntie, and his grandma. So we're going to do that and then I think we'll get dinner after that. So I'm not going to show you their place, <laughs> but I might show you dinner if I remember because I'm in crap today, I'm sorry. morning so this is me this is the new me with the hair up all the time i think until my hair decides to grow out because i don't know why i chopped a fringe but never mind so last night we had dinner at jeremy's auntie and uncle's house in the end we ended up staying there so i didn't get any videos or anything we slept super well about 11 hours something ridiculous like that which i think we probably both needed and we're now on our way to the beach i feel a little bit burnt from yesterday from walking around in the sun all day but we're gonna go and sit on the beach i've got my raspberries for breakfast i think we're also going to get some pan of chocolates as well go and sit on the beach for a couple of hours and then we've got to leave at about half three because we're gonna go to the opticians and get me some new glasses because i'm blind
So first up is to get some pan au chocolates from this little boulangerie and I think it's so cute and so French. I love how it's all written on the wall up there. And I need to decide whether to have one or two because I've got these raspberries to eat as well. So one if I'm all right, two if I'm greedy. We'll see when we get in there. Okay guys, they've got an almond croissant left and these are the most delicious things. So I'm gonna get that instead of a pan au chocolate. So I don't know if you hear me talking in there because obviously they're taking orders and things, but they had one croissant uh, d'almond, which is like an almond croissant left. So I had that one instead of a pan au chocolate because it's yummy. So now we are heading to the beach to have our breakfast. Breakfast on the beach with a view. So I decided we were burning, well I decided I was burning, so we're going back home now. I'm going to get up and get on the way home, have some lunch, have a shower, and then I guess we'll be leaving at about half three for the opticians. So goodbye beach. It's been fun, but it's too hot. <laughs> showered I let my hair dry a little bit and I tried to straighten my fringe to the sides it looks super weird so I pinned it back which looks super weird as well but anyway we are now having some wine no, I'm having some wine I'm having some iced tea and a little ham and cheese sandwich before we go to the opticians later on at about half three so in about an hour I guess um yeah anything to update the month no nothing for the vlog no, all right, see you later. Okay, so we are now leaving Cane. I have been the world's worst vlogger these past couple of days and I'm sorry if this video is absolutely crap, but I think it'll be nice for us to look back on maybe. Um, we're now in the car heading to the opticians to get some glasses for me because my glasses are like four years old and I don't even think they were strong enough at the time. Uh, but I'm not gonna take you there, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Tell so. them why, on this show, since like a vlog. What? <laughs> Tell them why. Why was it not good enough? Oh, because they lie, the opticians. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy, putting me in Explain. it. Explain. Well, because I'm so English, but I don't like to say no to people. And so when the optician says, like, is that better? I just go, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Even though the text is still blurry, I wasn't particularly being honest with him. So this time, as much as it's going to hate me because I'm just too English, I'm going to have to be honest and be like, no, that's still blurry. No, that's still blurry. No, I can't. I still can't see. Rather than just saying, "Yeah, that's fine, thank you," because I hate taking up people's time and being a pain. So that's why my glasses were never really good enough. Anyway, like Jeremy's are too strong. I could put Jeremy's on and they're too strong and they hurt my eyes. But I, at least I can see things like far away. Whereas with mine, um, I remember. The I see a little bit better. Morning. Yeah, <laughs> in Miami, wasn't it? In Miami, went out for a walk in the evening once. And Joe was like, wow, the moon looks so nice. And I was like, I mean, yeah, it's a white splodge. And he was like, no, you can see all the details. I was like, no, you can't. And I tried on his glasses and I was like, holy shit. Is that what the moon looks like? Is that like? what the moon looks like? I was so shocked, wasn't I? Because I haven't seen, well, I haven't really seen the moon. I don't, like, my glasses aren't strong enough to see the moon. I just thought it was a white splodge. I didn't see, I didn't think people actually saw the details on the moon. 
Yeah. So it's going to be nice to see like leaves and people's faces and the moon and I don't know, just things in more detail. Like I can see, I can see fine, but just I just don't think my glasses are strong enough. Anyway, so I'm going to have to go and be a big girl and be honest and tell him or her or they when I can and cannot see and when it's blurry and when it's not blurry. So wish me luck. Um, but hopefully next time you see me, I'll have some glasses and I might actually wear them more often if I get some that are strong enough. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up as usual. Subscribe for more videos. And we will see you in the next couple of videos, whatever they're going to be. Bye.